I mean, what actions do you potentially see North Korea Kim Jong Un taking um, that, that are most concerning? And by that, I mean putting aside for the moment what sort of capability they're building, what might they do offensively militarily? A few years back, um, I believe they sank a South Korean uh, vessel. They launched some missiles at a South Korean controlled island. Uh, do you see similar things that North Korea could do? I mean, I, I don't think any of us anticipate that they're just going to do a full scale war because they know the cost of that. But are there places where they would try to push the envelope? Um, and if so, what are your concerns about what they might do militarily against either our assets in the region or our allies? Sir, I, I, I'm, I'm not as certain uh, uh, about this as, as you are, that North Korea won't do something precipitous uh, because the- Oh, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm certain they are. I'm, ask, I'm asking what, what it would be. Um, well, sorry, I mean, it, it, could be, it could be what we've seen before. I mean, right. it, it, which provocations like the, the sinking of the Chonan or the right. attacks on the uh, Waipido Island uh, and, and the continuing uh, evolution of their nuclear uh, and their ballistic missile testing. Right, so just, all of that. Just to be clear in the purpose of the question, um, I, I'm not at all certain that they're not going to do something. I, I, I am confident. Admiral, I'm not certain of anything at this point in my life. It's just the nature of the world. But um, I am reasonably confident that North Korea sees the threat of launching a full-on war um, against South Korea or Japan um, and the consequences of that. What I'm worried about is that they will do these sort of little small things um, thinking they can get away with it um, and be wrong. And I'm trying to get a greater clarity of what those small things are, which is why I cited those, those two previous sure. examples. In the current environment, what are you worried about? Are they, are they likely to once again, you know, try to sink a South Korean ship? Are there disputed territories that they might try to take over? Um, where should we be looking for that small thing that could lead to the larger, much more dangerous uh, war? First off, sir, I, I don't share your confidence that North Korea is not going to attack either South Korea uh, or Japan or the United States or our territories or our states or parts of the United States once they have the capability. I mean, Un he, unprovoked, do you think that? I, I'm, I, I'm, I, don't, I won't say that they will. But I, I don't share your confidence that they won't, ap with, a, with absolute uh, certainty that they won't do that. I think yeah. they... Not absolutely certain, just playing the percentages here, but right. go ahead. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, but but I, I, I believe that, that we have to uh, look at North Korea a, as if Kim Jong-un uh, will do what he says. Uh, and and there's a, right now, uh, there's, there's probably a, a mismatch between KJU's rhetoric uh, and his capability. He has threatened by name Manhattan, Washington, Colorado, uh, Australia, Hawaii, uh, and there's a capability gap probably uh, in whether he can or not. And but I'm sorry you... to belabor this point because I want to get on to some other people here, but he, he's threatened those things in the context of don't mess with us. Um, has he, or are you saying he simply threatened them as he's going to do it no matter what we do? Sir, I, I can't read his mind. Uh, all I well, can I'm not do, asking you to read his mind. Uh, all I, all I can do is, is understand what he says. And when he threatens the United States, uh, then, then, then that's one level. But when he threatens the United States with the capability of, of, uh, of realizing that threat, that's a different place. Uh, and when that happens, that's an inflection point. And we're going to have to deal with that, I believe. I'll, I'll let other, other folks get in here. And this is probably more for a classified setting, but, but understanding why he threatens the United States, I think, is enormously important. And again, granting your point that there is no certainty, um, there is still things that we can learn to understand why those threats are made, and, and it would definitely inform how we, we would respond to those threats. So we can do that more in the classified setting. I'll yield back to uh, the committee. Thank you.